A lot of the poachers are ex-military. They come in in large gangs. They have fully automatic weapons. They have no qualms with using them. If somebody comes up and says, you will find a rhino, or we'll kill your wife and your children, you're gonna help them. For the first time now, we are gonna have a really useful tool to fight poachers and to hopefully beat them at their own game. There's no animal more spectacular than a rhino. And you can watch him for hours, and the longer you spend with him, the more you learn about them, and the more you grow to love them. Now, with less than 20,000 rhino in the world now, we're losing about 1,200 a year on average. Can you imagine a, a world with having no rhino, no elephants? It'll be crazy. South Africa is one of the last strongholds of the rhino. This has made it one of the biggest targets for poachers on the planet. Rangers are facing a war where they must use every trick up their sleeve. And one man has developed a high-tech solution to stop poachers in their tracks. We're trying to develop Founders Lodge as an innovation hub so that we can test technology here and then pass it out to other reserves. At the Mantis Founders Lodge, a game reserve in the Eastern Cape, Brett is deploying a 360-degree approach to counter the poacher threat. Thermal cameras, artificial intelligence, Visible cameras and around-the-clock monitoring provide early detection and real-time response to any intruder. The future for South African game reserves and the future of the rhino probably depends on technology like what we're developing now. We have helicopters, we have um, dog packs, but it's a vast area, so they have the advantage there. So what's happened is increased use is being made in technology in the form of cameras. We have uh, artificial intelligence, so we can basically now tell the difference between a human being and an animal. It'll then send the signal through via one of the apps we have to my phone, and live I can actually see within 0.1 of a second the picture. It tells me this is a person, it gives me the camera's name, what they suspect it is, and the direction it's moving. So I can now send that out to one of our rangers. He knows exactly where to go, what direction is moving, and what he's looking for. But now, while he's going, our other cameras will be starting to track this intruder. We probably, for the first time now, are gonna have a really useful tool to fight poachers and to hopefully beat them at their own game. Boosted by these latest innovations, the reserve has had zero poaching to date. The successful technology will soon be rolled out across other parks in Southern Africa. But despite the best efforts of Brett and other defenders of wildlife, rhino poaching continues. You might have a ranger who might only earn something like $400 a month. Somebody comes up to him and says, I'll give you $10,000, we're your rhino. It's a no-brainer. Now we have one machine that does all of that and it never sleeps and can't be bribed. We can then roll this out to gorillas, leopards, lions, tigers, anywhere where there's a scarce animal. To help bring an end to the poaching of wild animals, stand against the trade of illegal wildlife products and support the organizations which are pioneering new solutions to this issue.